well it won't be long in just a few short minutes we will be boarding that airplane at gate C-18 we'll fly to Phoenix Arizona to start our 4,000 mile road trip should be fun we are we are getting very close to Phoenix hey y'all Carolina Tony here today the road brings us to Phoenix Arizona and we are beginning our 18 day road trip yesterday was filled with mostly air travel five hours here but this is going to be an awesome trip and I am going to do a day by day trip or take that back attempt to do a day by day trip give you all some tips along the way in case you ever decide that you want to take a road trip of this magnitude and we'll get started right after this station identification The first night we stayed in a little place that I can't pronounce outside of uh, Phoenix at the Drury Inn and Suites. We always love to stay at these places. Drury is a little more than we normally pay for rooms. That last night was about 220 bucks, but we have to take in consideration that not only do you get a full and complete breakfast at Drury, you also get supper. So last night we had barbecue and baked beans and mac and cheese and hot dogs and all kind of other stuff. It was pretty good. We have uh, rented a Dodge Durango, good sized car, and we'll have it packed out. Last night we went to the Walmart and bought a little small cooler and bought some things to make sandwiches and chips along the way save on money while we are traveling down on the road and hey you never know what you're gonna run into so we've got water and iced tea and snacks and all try to cut back on expenses some we are fixing to get off of the road i'll let you see it as we see it does this look like a road i don't know we're cutting across the the desert very interesting. I, I don't it. think this is the way. That is Interstate 10. Now, the direction we were headed was east. And uh, I saw this, so we had to get off. And uh, you can see previously, it was real hard to get off of the, and get out here. You had to cut across a little prairie but I thought this is pretty interesting. This is a cemetery, but it's a little different than the cemeteries that we are accustomed to. As you can see, the mounds of dirt where they're piled up. So I'm assuming that these things are, are very shallow. And I'm gonna also assume that there are Native Americans buried here. I can see by some of the signs and the names that they indeed are but look such a rude cross and a little trinkets left to the loved ones uh this particular person here died in 2015. but buried out on the desert This is definitely a different type of uh, interstate rest area. Little picnic shelters. I would imagine in July you wouldn't want to be sitting at that table. How many rest areas do you stop at that says poisonous snakes and insects habitat the area as well as scorpions? Now, 
Debbie, she's gonna shame me for this, but last night we paid $85. And she says, you just cannot get a decent room for $85. Well, I thought the room was pretty decent. The breakfast this morning, they cooked it. She said, uh, just wait, just give me, f she said, give me five minutes and I'll cook you some sausage and eggs. You don't get that to the Holiday Inn. It looked like telephone poles. Yeah, all those cactuses just sticking up. They do look like poles. Crazy. Well, you know I like weird and quirky type of things. And we are here at Stewart's Petrified Wood along Interstate 40, which uh, right across the road is the old Route 66. And we're just gonna explore around and just see what's here. Well, hey there. Well, the fella here at Stewart's told me that uh, this business has been in his family for 20 some odd years and that his father did all this folk art we'll walk through here it's all these petrified trees out here you can actually purchase them See this mannequin. Traveling down Route 66 back in the day, all this stuff, this these things were designed to catch your eye to make you want to stop and come in and just see what they have. At one time you could come here and feed the ostriches. So I wouldn't TP. the rock if it's wet it's raining if it's white it's snowing if it's moving back and forth it's windy and it's moving a little bit if it's hard to see it's foggy if it's casting a shadow it's sunny if it's cold it's cold out if it's warm it's warm out Good morning, y'all. Carolina Tony here. Today, we embark on another leg of our trip. I have lost count of the days. Last night, we spent the night in Holbrook, Arizona, right on Route 66. And here's the Holbrook sign in the Holbrook Hotel. It's an old hotel, but it's been remodeled. Uh, very clean it came with high reviews and i'll give it a pretty high review as well uh we're fixing to go inside and get some food and then head out on that long long highway that's route 66 there there's a lot in store today and in this video we will highlight some of the things along the way 
and there will also be special videos that we pull out along the way but for now let's uh get it rolling on these old hotels on route 66 in holbrook arizona Interstate 40, one of the roadside stops, tourist traps. Geronimo boasting the world's largest petrified tree. And this may be Geronimo right here because this is pretty big. And Debbie's standing next to part of Geronimo. You get an idea of how big this thing is. That's called a Hogan or Hoka. Ceremonial Navajo hut. And they actually live in them as well. Geronimo trading post next to 40. You see a lot of cars when you're riding by. And in your mind when you're on the interstate, you think, hey, they're busy. All these cars have flat tires and probably don't run. This is the Twin Arrows trading post right along old Route 66. Here it goes right through there running parallel with I-40, at least for a little ways, headed towards Flagstaff. It was on this spot that Joe Dirt met the Indian fireworks guy and had a vision. We are still on the road, David. Debbie, you know what day it is? Thursday. I know it's Thursday, but don't ask me the date. Yeah, I'm not sure how many days into this trip we are. We're Almost two weeks. Almost two weeks. We are here in Williams, Arizona. It is a town on Route 66. It's kind of an old retro type town. We're going to look around a little bit. This is called the Sultana Theater, opened in 1912. A theater and a room for dances and other events. Featured silent movies until 1930 when the first talkies in northern Arizona were shown. Cash only though. Trolling notable visitors like Bill Rogers. Four cents. Yeah, you remember when gas was 44 cents? <laughs> They put it in cars like this. This place is called Cars of the Mother Road. Gift and collectibles. I'm going to have to go inside, Debbie. Come in, free to look. How about this? Half truck, half car. Uh, 
dog going home. And I can see your future. Don't be nothing but a hound dog. Get on over here. Here is a very large Route 66 sign in this building. This is what we call a little bit of uh, Americana. We're walking down the streets of Williams, Arizona. This is the gateway to the Grand Canyon on historic Route 66. This whole town is kind of uh, retro, I guess, from back in the day when this was the main way to get from Chicago to California, stopping at gas stations like this. Of course, there's a little snow on the ground in places. Hey, y'all. Carolina Tony here again, and we are still on the road. Last night, we spent the night in Williams, Arizona, right here on Route 66. We stayed at the Comfort Inn. Got a pretty good deal here, highly rated, good reviews. Was 50 some on dollars by the time they had all kind of taxes, and that's what always amazes me. There's this kind of tax and that kind of tax and a hospitality tax that wound up being about $72. Nonetheless, was real good. Uh, slept very well. Uh, we have maybe six more nights on the road, but more traveling and exploring to do today. And we're gonna go inside and get some breakfast. And in just a few minutes, we're gonna hit the highway. Somewhere near. Know the name of the town. This is kind of interesting. This cat just doesn't seem to have any uh, thorns on it. 